Hello and welcome and thanks very much for joining us once again uh, at this pre-match uh, press conference uh, and with head coach Lee Greenwood. Are you alright today, Lee? I'm fine, Steve. How are you? Good. I'm not bad, not bad, Lee. Not bad. Yeah. Uh, obviously, uh, last time out we uh, we were defeated against the London Broncos. It's been a, a couple of weeks, so firstly, how do we look back on that defeat and then how's training been since, since then? Well... Um, I think I remember giving the aftermatch comments and nothing's changed too much from then, really, after looking at the video and everything. Um, you know, there were a couple of key moments that could have gone our way. Um, when you look at the the first sort of incident, which was after the very first set where their fullbacks knocked the ball on after we've kicked it, uh, we've regathered it and scored. Um, they haven't got it right. They just haven't got it right at all. Um, Sam, who picks the ball up, is 10 metres away from the guy who, who drops it, not interfering with play. He picks it up and then regathers, and Tom Garrett scores, who was even further away. Um, nobody else that was sort of offside at the kick was interfering. So they've, that, for me, they've just got that totally wrong. Um, obviously, that changes the game instantly, doesn't it? Because they're, they're very first set, they score on tackle five as well. Um Obviously, that things like that happen. You've got to recover from it. You've got to be better yourself. Um, we got ourselves back into the game. Um, and then I suppose the next key moment was them scoring right on half time, wasn't it? Um, to put them 18-6 up, I think it was. Um, where we'd where we'd competed really well for a large part of it. Um, and then another one straight after half time, very first set again. We've just got to score that. Um that might have put us back in um, back in touch with London within a score and maybe they get a bit nervous. As it was, they kept that lead not long after score the next one on tackle five again. Um, and it was just a bit like that, really. Just just a couple of key moments, but I felt I felt sort of the majority of it. We, we competed quite well with a full-time team. It was absolutely scorching down there and the trip down and everything like that. Um, I just don't think the, the scoreline probably reflected mm -hmm. sort of how tight it was. So, but we've just got to take it. You know, we've conceded 30, 30 plus points now against these types of teams, Halifax, York, Bradford and London. And you're just leaving yourself too much to do. You know, having to score more than 30 against those teams to win, you're unlikely to do that. So there's some areas we need to get better at if we want to beat any of those teams. Mm. And um, since then, then how's training been in the in the last two weeks in the run up to this weekend's game against Toulouse? It's been about seeing what numbers we've got and what bodies we've got available because we're struggling. Um, and I've mentioned it the last couple of times about people departing. And we're having to bring loans in um, when we've got a couple of injuries. All the loan players have now gone back, so it's just just the players that we've got. So we're down on bodies. Um, we're not on a zone in this. There's a lot of teams that are struggling down to the sort of last 17, 18, 19 players. So there's not as many loans about as what the what, what the um, maybe was a few weeks ago. Obviously, you've seen in Super League the, the COVID hitting. So that has a knock-on effect to other teams, um, not just because of player availability, but a lot of these rugby guys know each other and mix. Um so you've got the COVID outbreaks at a couple of the clubs. Um, you then have guys that meet up with some of those guys, obviously not knowing, all entirely innocent, but then it, we know how quickly the COVID spreads. And and it has. There's quite a few now. Championship clubs have also had a case or two. Then you get people needing to isolate. Um, so we're in that boat um, with, with somebody um, stood down with COVID. And, and like I say, our loan players have gone back. Um, add, that, add to that a couple of injuries that we've got to guys that were in our 17 um, every week. So we are we're down on bodies, um, and yeah, we've um, we're doing it tough. Not ideal coming into obviously against Toulouse, who are red hot, and then first in the week after. But it is what it is. It gives a few guys an opportunity, and hopefully, it brings us tighter together. One person that we did announce on loan uh, that went out on loan was was James Thornton. Um, I, I, I think he played last weekend in the, their match, um, so that was that was good that he got game time out there, wasn't it? It was, yeah, yeah. I know, I know it sounds it sounds daft that we've let someone out on loan when we're short on numbers ourselves, but 
but I like to look after people individually as well. Um, to chuck James in this week, I think would have been unfair on him. He's not played since I think Whitehaven away last year. Um, although he trained pre-season, he had a pre-planned operation then that took him out of the friendlies. So it's a long time without playing. And then, like I said, to come in against Toulouse would have been a bit unfair on him. We've been trying for the last few weeks to get him out to get some game time in with a view to coming back to us. So just with the timing, it happened that North Wales needed somebody uh, last week. So James has gone there for for as long as we need it to happen, really. Um, obviously, uh, James got to perform while he's there to try to get into our team, but it gives him that game time that he's, he's been short of. So, yeah, I know North Wales coach was happy with him last week. Um you know, like I say again, not not playing for twelve months, it's or more. It's it's quite tough. And you say all our loans have gone back now. How do you think that process worked with with getting different people in? Obviously, we had Sam Ward, we had Jimmy Beckett. Uh, you know, we had uh, a couple of other people in that that have come in and and done a job while they've been here. Well, it worked while they were here. Just you'd obviously like them to be there longer. Uh, John Luke Kirby, I thought, did really well against Swinton, but then he's done his ACL again, so he's out for 12 months or so, so he's going to miss the rest of this year. That's just unfortunate. Would have loved to have kept him for longer, which we would have done. Um, I just feel we're kind enough to then let us have Sam Wood, but Sam Wood's now gone back and he's part of the COVID thing that's going on at Huddersfield, so that's just, again, unfortunate. Um, Zach McComb did really well for us for a couple of games, but Halifax have had an injury and in the centre position, so Zach's gone back there to play. Um, I thought Jimmy Beckett had done well in the times he played for us. But let's were down to the last 17, 18 players last week, so again, needed to call him back. So that's the that's the negatives of the loan system, that they can be called back at any point. The positives are, obviously, you get players to help you out um, when you need them. We've just, it's just happened that this week, you know, everyone's down on bodies, so there's been nobody available to bring in. Um, we've been yeah. fortunate. We, we've been a bit fortunate. We've managed to uh, get a front rower in that we were desperate for. So we've got a lad called Dan Hawksworth that's come in. So he was at Keithley, played at York and Humslet previously. Um, I followed Dan for the last couple of years, to be honest, um, which I like to do. I like to follow him a year in advance if I can before before bringing him in. And I think he'll he'll suit what we're after. Um, we're certainly short in that position anyway. Um, he's trained this week and he's slotted in nicely. Uh, and so overall, then it, it's just been a bit of a disruptive time, like I said, with injuries and 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 different things, and and so we've just like I said, doing a bit tough at the moment, and we can't come up against a, a tougher opponent in Toulouse this weekend. Do have seemed to have, um, you know, sort of, I don't know what the word is really, smashed everybody who's who's come before them in a way. <laughs> they have, yeah. Um... Uh, it's, it's a funny one this week because the three teams they've smashed in your words in the previous few games, um, we've beaten. So they've beat, they've, they've put a right score on Widness uh, by 70, I think, and then Whitehaven and Swinton they beat by 60-odd. Obviously, we've beaten those three teams. Um, they've also beaten York and Halifax, who we've lost against, but those were much tighter games. Um so it's interesting to see where we sort of slot in that sort of spectrum, whether it's mm. a, a huge score they put on us, which obviously we hope it's not, or whether we give them a bit more of a game like York and Halifax have, and and that's what sort of we're all all wanting to see. Of course, you know, there, there hasn't been a game where our lads haven't put effort in. Um, we've been a bit off it on on odd occasion, but you can never question the effort, and and I, I'm pretty sure. Whatever the score is, however the game goes, that we won't be questioning their effort come the final whistle on Sunday. Um, but listen, this is this is a, a team effort. Is this on Sunday? We are doing it tough, um, playing playing wise, and obviously the, the the coaching bit, which you want to be coaching rugby, but at the moment it's literally about trying to field a team and and then try to bring players in to help us out. Um, and, and obviously, it's a, a first game back with the home fans as well. And we're going to need everybody playing the part. I, I can't imagine too many people will be there from Toulouse. So it should all be sort of people supporting Jews. And we're going to need everybody on um, on top form to help us out in this one. Yeah, that, it, it's going to be fantastic to see the fans back in the 
stadium for the first time in, in 18 months, really. And um, that's something to really look forward to as well, isn't it? Obviously, we've had a chance to, to be with them on the road at both Squinton and London, but there's nothing like being in your home ground with your home fans cheering you on, really. No, of course it's not. Of course it's not. Um, and like I say, we're going to need them um, to be right behind us, which they always are in these type of games. You know, they, they really understand what we're up against. Um, and we're even more so up against it this week, really, with, like I say, the unavailabilities we've got. Um, but um, we'll, we'll be putting a massive shift in on Sunday and I know they'll help us to do that. Well, thanks once again, Lee, for uh, joining me this week. Uh, and I look forward to you uh, to speaking to you after uh, the Toulouse game on Sunday. Top man. Cheers, Steve.